All right, so having said that, let's go into the baseline predictor. This is the step number one before we can afford to go to step number two on neighborhood predictor. So baseline predictor does not utilize the global structures of the users and movies rating. We're going to start the baseline with the baseline of the baseline. That's the laziest predictor you can think of, the average predictor. Let's call that R bar. R bar is simply the summation of all the RUIs across all the UI pairs where there is a rating and then divided by the total number uh, of such ratings. That's it. It's simply the average. It turns out that in the Netflix price training data, 100 million data points, R hat is 3.6. That is, over all these 100 million ratings, the average is 3.6. And we can say, well, that is our prediction. We predict that all the uh, users and movies interaction will be 3.6 stars in the future. Clearly, this is a very lazy. We can do a lot better than this. For example, we know that certain movies are better and certain reviewers are harsher. So let's say the predictor, R hat, is R bar, but with some bias terms. So B, bias terms with regard to the user and bias term with regard to the movie. So our R hat UI is the average predictor, the laziest one, plus some bias term on that user, uh, on that user, and some bias term on that movie. And now we can look at the root mean squared error. We can also take the square root of this root. So we'll just look at the mean square error because that doesn't change our answer of the optimal parameters. So we look at the summation of the difference squared, difference between R U I UI and R hat. UI squared. We can also uh, delete the step of uh, dividing by the total number of, of uh, uh, ratings because that's just a, a constant that doesn't change our answers. So this is our objective function for the minimization. Minimize over the set of BUs and BIs the summation of the square of the differences between the ground truth RUI, which you have in the training phase, and the prediction R hat UI, where R hat UI assumes this formula. Okay. So this is the function involving some squares of the BU and BI terms. R hat is not your variable because it is just the average, say 3.6 for Netflix. And the BUBI are your variables. That's an optimization problem. You've got an objective function, which is a square, therefore not a linear programming anymore, but we'll see this is a nice nonlinear programming. And there's no constraints. Okay? The variables are the BUBIs, and the given constants are the known truth RUIs, and this is a simple scalar R bar that describes the baseline predictor training optimization.